Okay, so we're looking at um, equations with brackets and again, not knowing exactly what you've done in year eight, this might be quite straightforward or might be brand new. So we're looking at, uh, I'll show you two methods and uh, both methods um, are legitimate and you can decide which one works and sometimes it's easier to do one than the other. So in the two methods, which you'll see in the examples, uh, first method is multiply out the brackets in the first case and then solve what the equation is that's ex the linear equation has left or the second way which sometimes is quicker divide both sides by the number outside the bracket and then solve okay so copy that down and we'll have a look at some examples and see what that means so method one is expand out the brackets and second method is divide okay so in method one okay so i've got two bracket x plus three equals six okay um so first method is expand out the brackets. So 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 3 equals 6, uh, equals 6. And then the next step would be uh, subtract 6 from both sides. And so therefore, 2x equals 6 minus 6 equals 0. And then the next step would be divide through by the 2. And so x equals if you have no money and you divide it with your two best friends they get no money so the answer equals zero okay so that's method one expand the brackets in the second method is to get with that two you just divide both sides by that number and so we get two divided by two is one so we just end up with the bracket x plus three equals six divided by two equals three um, so you don't have to worry about the bracket because the brackets doesn't isn't there necessarily and then plus 3 becomes minus 3, oh, made a mistake there, 6 divided by, 6 divided by 2 is 3, silly, and then so 3 minus 3 is nothing, and so x is 3 minus 3 equals 0, so it's the same answer because it's the same equation. So copy, and again, like you don't have to do both methods, you'll pick one method, and let's look at the second example when you're ready. Okay, so method one is expand the brackets out, so we've got 15, three, 3 times 5 is 15, minus 6x equals minus 2, okay? And then minus 15 from both sides. We leave that to last, so minus 15 from both sides. So we have minus 6x equals minus 17, minus 2 minus 15 equals minus 17. And then... Divide both sides by minus 6 to get rid of the minus 6. And so x equals a minus divided by a minus is a plus. And so the answer is 17 on 6, which you can write down as 2 and 5, 6. Okay, but 17 on 6 is fine. Method 2, I'll just write out the question again. So in method 2, you divide both sides by 3. And the trouble is now you've already got a fraction, okay? Um, <coughs> excuse me. And then we subtract 5 from both sides. So those cancel out. So we end up with minus 2x. Those two numbers add up to minus 5 and 2 thirds. And then divide by minus 2, divide by minus 2. And so x equals... Now you just put that in the calculator using your fraction button and the answer is still... 17 on 6, okay? It's the same answer, but the trouble is you've got fractions early which you don't necessarily like to have, okay? Um, so copy that down when you're ready to come across. So try this one yourself. Choose the method that you think works best and I'll just pause and when you're ready, come back live. Okay, so I'll show you both methods again. So method 1, multiply out. So 8x minus 20 equals 20 and then plus 20 to both sides and so 8x equals 40 and then divide by 8 divide by 8 and so x equals 5 method 2 4 bracket 2x minus 5 equals 20 method 2 is divide by 4 straight away so 2x minus 5, 20 divided by 5 is 5, that's good, plus 5, plus 5, so 2x equals 10, 
divide by 2, divide by 2, and so x equals 5, which is the same answer. So what you <coughs> excuse me, might have recognised, if you see that that number there goes into that number there, then method 2 is, is good. Okay? If 4 goes into 20, then method 2 is good because you have a whole number there. But if 4, say that number there had been 19, 4 doesn't go into 19, then you probably do method 1 would be better. Okay. So there's an exercise 4B, page 111 onwards. Um, again, there's tons there, so just do one column from each. It will be tons of practice. Okay. Thanks. Bye.